And I'm ready when you're ready. Man, I love the Sonic has ice lattes, man. It's so good. <laughs> hey, I have a mustache. I mean, you can only see it in sunlight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mustache on you right now. Only now. <laughs> no other times, just now. Ice lattes. <laughs> New. All had those awkward conversations that no one likes, and we just wish we could we could take them back. And so today we're going to talk about interpersonal communication and conversation, and hopefully you won't have to have those awkward conversations. Anymore. Chapter six goals: maintain conversations more effectively, and we also have more satisfying conversations with more meaning and more purpose, <coughs> and then also have different techniques to make communication better. Five steps to conversation. You have your opening or the beginning of the conversation. You have the feed forward or the greetings. You also have the business, which is the substance or topic of the conversation. And then feedback, which is your reflect reflecting on the conversation. And then the closing, which is the end of the conversation. So the opening. It opens a channel of communication. Um, you know, saying hi or hey. And it also previous future messages, like when someone says, hey, I have a crazy story to tell you. So it previews what you're going to talk about in that conversation. The feed forward is the greeting, uh, verbal Verbal forms of this are like, hey, hi, yo, holla, stuff. Awa? Holla. H-O-L-L-A. Holla. Okay. Holla. Oh, okay. You never said holla before? Until now. <laughs> and then nonverbal communications are like handshakes or high fives or waves or chest bumps, anything like that. Okay, so your business is what basically what you're talking about. It's um, your main point. Um, it fulfills basic components of communication. You can relate and learn. And it's basically when you exchange roles from listening and speaking. Your feedback. It's how you reflect on a conversation and like if someone saying something to you and you answer back, you're relating to what they're saying. You can give positive feedback and negative feedback. Your closing is the goodbye of the conversation. It can be verbal to nonverbal, just by like your gestures and, and if you say something like to end a conversation. In your everyday conversation, you have a handshake, which you don't know is. You have small talk, like saying hi, and like how are you to someone. You have introducing people, uh, excuses and apologies, complimenting, and advice. In introducing people, it can be difficult if you forget the name. So like, if you like forget someone's name, you can say, like, I don't know why, but I keep thinking your name is, and say the name, and then hopefully they'll tell you what their name is. And then there's no need to reveal a relationship, just simply say like, like this is my friend, whoever, and not say like this is my girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. And full names, usually say the first name only, just in case you don't know like everybody's last name that you're introducing. And usually you like rank, like the lower rank to the higher ranks first, so like if you're introducing a child to an adult, not an adult to a child, and, like a private to a general. And excuses and apologies. Excuses are to maintain self-esteem, not look bad. Apology is to offer the correct problem and to assure it'll never happen again. Okay, and then you have complimenting and advice. Complimenting is a message of praise and flattery, and it's qualified or it can be unqualified. And there's also 
backhand compliment. A backhand compliment is more of like an insult in disguise. An example is, is um, like you're smarter than you look, saying that you're like actually dumb. Or your haircut really slims your face, saying that you look fat in the first place. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Advice is giving a suggestion to another person. Um, maybe a meta advice, which is advice about advice. So, like, if I go over to Kayla and say, Molly said I should stop talking to Trevor. What do you think I should do? <laughs> you don't listen to her. You walk right down to him and you'll be like, I love him. <laughs> to a handshake. It's good to make eye contact throughout the whole handshake <laughs> and make sure you're smiling and being positive to make it like you want, you want to be there. And fully extend your right hand and make the handshake long enough so it's not too short. And when you're done, still continue to keep making eye contact. And then the principles of conversation are turn taking, dialogue, <laughs> first we have principles of turn taking, and the first one's speaker cues, uh, where you turn maintaining cues, so you just, it's to show you have more to say, so like if you're talking to someone and you're not finished, you might say, so um, this also has an end um, this, so it's like you're not finished, you don't want them to interrupt you. And you have turn yield cues, which is changing roles from speaker to listener. So if I was talking to Lauren and I like told her a story and then I stopped, that means I want her to comment on the story or give me advice or say something back. And then we have listener cues, turn requesting cues, like you'd like to speak. And then turn to nine cues. You have nothing to say. You don't want to be the speaker. So if Lauren tells me something, I'm just like, I don't know. It's like I'm not interested in the conversation. I don't have anything to say. I want her to keep talking. And then back channeling cues and interruptions. So to like tell the speaker you're listening, being like, mm hmm, yep. Like we all do that with our mom when they're telling us to do chores. You're just like, yeah. No, we all do not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like you're telling them you're listening, but you might or might not be listening. <laughs> then we have the principle of dialogue. Dialogue is conversation. Um, each person is speaker and listener. And then objective is mutual understanding. And empathy. Good stuff. You got more? Yeah, and then the principle principle of intimacy, the creation of closeness, sense of togetherness, and ones between speaker and listener, um, can make people more attracted to other, can be verbal or nonverbal. So like self-disclosure, like telling someone a secret about you might make them more close to you, make them want to be your friend. And then like giving compliments, like you're so reliable, you're so honest, I can always count on you. That's like telling the person that you still want to, you want to have a, a relationship with them. It's like complimenting them so it makes them want to stay in the relationship with you. And we, these are all the things that make up chapter six. <laughs> Nicely done. Little golf class.